that's really what happened with me. I just had a general awakening to that, and then I think like a lot of people, I spoke to a girl yesterday that just said, you know, I'm on a mission. Mm -hmm. I just had this this urge that it just, you know, you, you, you realize everything you grew up thinking, you thought it was the way you were taught. Right. That we the people, it's right. we the people, and uh, for the people, by the people, and you start realizing, wow, there's powers that be that are really the controllers. And, right. I, and I often mm -hmm. tell people, they th that say to me, oh, this could never happen in America. You're the, I'm like, you know, and especially down here, you have a lot of people from South America and other countries that say, right. no, the stuff that happens in South America could never happen in America. And I'm like, well, I hate to tell you and inform you, but in America, they just do it better. In, right. in Venezuela right. and in Cuba, you got one guy to pick, so you know what the story is. Right. In America, you got two to make you think you're free. Right. You know, and the illusion, and, right? Exactly. The illusion. Absolutely. Yeah. And so, you know, I, I, you know, I've been on this fight too, and I'm all I'm trying to educate myself. And I mean, when it comes to the Federal Reserve, I, I know you guys are all pretty well versed, and I feel like I'm becoming like a little historian in in the Federal Reserve and the history of it because well, you know we all you know, are though yeah, all yeah absolutely you know you said something I'd like to add on to that it reminded me of freedom to fascism um, there was a there was a quote inside the movie freedom to fascism by um, Johann von Wolfgang I can't remember how to pronounce his last name I think it's Gert he's a well well known German um, literature guy and the quote is, none are more hopelessly enslaved than those who falsely believe they are free. Right. And that's pretty much the, the whole thing as to what's going on in this country. But you know... That's the entire setup we have. Yeah. That's right. But you know, you know when, we, when we first found out, I'm going to... Because all of us, we're, we're just talking about our awakening, how that happened. You know, you guys were talking about your awakening. You know, that was scary, wasn't it? Oh, you, did, didn't you feel like... I remember when my wife and I, we went to this seminar... Uh, put on by this guy, and he was talk. I never heard anyone talk like him before. Really, he was talking about the Federal Reserve and the and the income tax fraud, and um, and, and I'm I'm listening to this guy and thinking, you mean, I've been hoodwinked my whole life. I mean, when I heard when I heard God bless America, I would get tears in my eyes. That's how much I love my country. But and now you're telling me they betrayed me. They've lied about everything. You know, I mean, I've been a puppet, a pawn, a patsy, a sucker. And, and, I had, and I went through a process. We went through a process of like grieving almost. Absolutely. You know, we were so saddened over what we had learned. And at first, of course, we said, well, no, this can't be true. We're going to have to check this out. And of course, this was in the days before computers. So, but we went and we started seeking out and, and read, buying books and reading books and things like that. And then we found out the Federal Reserve is not federal. There is no reserve. And the Federal Reserve notes are not notes because there's no promise to pay. Just like this guy told us, they're a, it's a fraud. It's the biggest Ponzi scheme, the biggest, the biggest scam in, in, in the entire world, I believe, really. And what it's done is, it, it's, and we're going to talk about this, how it has progressed and how it has enslaved us. And we are slaves. Let me tell you what, anyone that works, how, I mean, how many months out of the year do you work, Russell, to pay off your taxes? Well, they, they say an average person works at least six months or okay. more just to six pay taxes. Six months. So you're a six-month slave. That's right. You are a slave, absolute slave. Now, that's forced labor, is it not? That's right. It's forced labor. And then they always tell you it's it's not a mandatory tax. You can volunteer. Volunteer, voluntarily pay it, but when you don't voluntarily pay it, that's right. you face all sorts of charges, criminal and civil. And they and, seize everything. And they'll seize. So basically it is... And you know, and they actually seize it illegally. They they really you know they folks put liens that, illegally. That's right. Some of you folks out there probably have had uh, well, there's a lot of people that aren't paying their taxes anymore because they're in rebellion, which is a good thing. Okay, I'm all for rebellion against these cor these corrupt uh, uh, bankers. They have. Um, I think we have a phone call, don't we? Okay, you know what? That let, let's take that the phone call first, and then we'll go on with this. Hello, caller. Hi, Dan. Yes. Hey, this is Russ. Hey, Russ, how are you? Not bad. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. You got something you'd like, good. To, you'd like to add to the program, Russ? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. You might be familiar with this. I'm not sure, but I'm going to read this. Uh, this is actually from, uh, let's see, 
12 U.S. Code, Chapter 3, Subchapter 12. As used in this chapter, the term Federal Reserve Accounting Unit Dollar Accounts means accounts based on Federal Reserve notes created by 12 U.S. Code, Chapter 3, Subchapter 12. Okay? Yes. Now, the term Federal Reserve Accounting Unit Dollar is literally the technical name for our currency. Right. And you know as well as I do how the people, the elites, love to use codes and point, you know, literally hide it, hide things in plain sight. Exactly. Okay, well, what you want to think about this, take the first letter of all five of those words, Federal Reserve Accounting Unit Dollar. I got it. <laughs> Fraud. That's right. <laughs> That's a they, good they're one. literally telling you what they're doing. Yeah, they sure are, aren't they? Yes, sir, they are. Well, I want to thank you for your call. That's really uh, that's really interesting what you brought up. Federal Reserve Accounting Unit Dollar. Fraud. Okay, that's a good one. We're going to have to uh, use that in the future. Okay. Thank you, Russ, for calling. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. Have a good night. You too. Okay, folks, um, if, any of you, if anyone else would like to call on, you can uh, please feel free to call on at 561-228-4020 and ask us your question or uh, give us a bit of information like Russ just did. And uh, none of us are professionals here. Again, uh, you know, we're not, uh, we didn't go to, to college and learn how to become professional broadcasters or any of that type of thing. We're just concerned Americans who decided we're going to take a stand. And uh, we, were, we were talking about, um, let's see here, about the, I think the Federal Reserve, what was our last before he called? That we're indebted, you know, pretty much, and we're talking about the taxes. Yeah, the taxes. Oh, we were, we were actually yeah. talking about the awakening, though, the awakening, yeah, exactly. and how, how we, were, we felt so um, deceived. And, uh, you know, this, it's not a very comfortable thing to go through, to be honest with you. It was very uncomfortable for my wife and I. Um, in fact, uh, you know, I have to say that it put me in a tailspin for a while. I didn't know what to do. I know, what do you do now that you find out your government, everything you ever believed in, you know, uh, you know, we thought we went to war. We thought we were going to war to uh, protect liberty. And in fact, we were going to, to war to protect special interests, money, It was a mercantile, bankers. it was a mercantilist that, war. That's right. You know, most wars have been. Oh, they all have. They ever right. seen, even, folks, even, even World, World War, war II. II. Even World War II, if you really dissect that war, you'll find out that um, that the uh, international bankers were playing all sides, international That's corporations right. were playing all sides, and uh, that Adolf Hitler actually got his idea of the master race from American eugenicists. That's, it. That's where he got it from. It all came from this country. It all of, all of it did. And in fact, the um, the Rockefeller Foundation. Uh, their grants are the ones that enabled Hitler scientists to develop their eugenics. And, and, and people are probably going, oh my goodness, you know. But we didn't know that back then because nobody was talking about it. We didn't know that IBM was involved with the Third Reich and that their, their Hollerith machines were, um, were like the modern day computers and, and actually allowed Hitler uh, to uh, create such a powerful military machine. It was those Hollerith machines that also did all the um, uh, what do you call it? Um, boy, I just lost. I just lost what I was going to say here. The um, well, they also databased the, for the Holocaust as well. Those, right. Those IBMs were integral to the whole cataloging of the people. What do you call it when you go out and you do a every ten years we do a, so, a census. census? Thank census. you very much. I couldn't think of the word census. We had a a census, and um, that's how uh, Hitler gathered all the information because the the uh, IBM engineers actually designed, they, they designed the punch cards, right? Yep. So they had to design the answers, the correct answers that would create the punch cards to create the correct result. You know, how do we find out who's Jewish? How do we find out uh, uh, where you were born? How do we find out how much, um, how many horses you own or livestock mm -hmm. or whatever? All that information was created by the IBM engineers. They had to sit down with the Nazis and go through all the questionnaires that, that they wanted to ask the people the Nazis to ask the people so they could get, gather the information. And they knew this real early. So they were using all this uh, information in the census of all the um, Axis nations that, you know, Hitler went in and took over Poland and Czechoslovakia and all that stuff. He went in there and, and um, they'd already, they, all they had to do was go and say, okay, we, we already have this information. We'll just, 